everyone, welcome to Southern France. It is very windy today, but I'm here to see up close the Inspector 125, a new generation USV unmanned surface vessel designed by ECA Group. 17 of them are on order by the Belgian and Royal Netherlands navies for the RMCM program, Replacement Mine Countermeasure. Sébastien Delorme, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You are the USV project manager at ECA Group. Can you please first tell us about the Inspector 125? Yes, of course. I will start with a quick presentation of this USV. This uh, Inspector 125 is a multi-purpose uh, USV compliant with the manned uh, configuration, remote tree control and fully autonomous maritime mission, 12 meters long, can reach a speed of uh, 25 knots, is robust with the mine explosion, can operate a mission at a standoff distance of 18 nautical miles. Does this USV come in various configurations? Yes, this USV can transport and deploy uh, multi-payload, like um, MITS, TAU sonar, man configuration with divers and force protection team. Uh, right now, what kind of system is fitted at the stern of the USV? The system you can see on the deck is a C-scan. It's a prototype of the C-scan with this class. Can you tell us about the technology on board the, the USV? So it's an unmanned system, but is it fully autonomous? Yes, this USV can be manned, remotely controlled and fully autonomous. A new generation of command and control allows this USV to be um, controlled on board the mothership or ashore. Was this one built uh, in France and what about uh, the other ones uh, as part of the RMCM program? Yes, this one, it's a project uh, of uh, ECA Group who, uh, built in France. And what about the other ones? The other ones uh, uh, will be a um, project in Belgium, in Ostend, in the new plant of uh, ECA Group. Uh, is this boat the first in the series or the prototype? This boat is a prototype. It's a project 100% uh, uh, of uh, ECA Group. Um, the design uh, of the prototype uh, and the series was uh, by Morik, a subsidiary of uh, ECA Group. And for the series, a few adjustments will be made uh, to be conformed to the series. Hugues Bejo, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. You are the MCM Deputy Program Manager at the Naval Group. You recently conducted some uh, sea trials of the USV Inspector 125 and the LARS designed by Naval Group. How did the trials go? What's the initial feedback? Well, the initial feedbacks are very good. Uh, we had a huge, uh, huge period of trials at sea uh, with uh, a ship of opportunity. Uh, the VN Rebel, and then uh, we uh, had the, the first trials with the USV prototype, uh, the launch and recovery system, full prototype, on a, a ship uh, chosen for its uh, resemblance uh, with the uh, RMCM vessel. What were the main challenges in designing the launch and recovery systems? Uh, for which kind of uh, sea state is it designed and which kind of uh, condition does it have to sustain? Yeah, the main challenge uh, uh, were, uh, first of all, uh, in our requirements, we have to deliver a system uh, to uh, operate uh, up to a sea state uh, 5. So it was uh, an important uh, challenge, and uh, we have to, to we had to to, to find uh, the good uh, interfaces between the LARS and the USV uh, to operate in such a rules uh, sea uh, state. Um, the second challenge uh, was to work very closely between uh, ECA Group and Naval Group because uh, both systems uh, has been uh, built uh, in uh, in parallel. Uh, during the same uh, period, so we had to um, make workshop to share our design to find a good compromise between our design uh, to have a very good solution at sea. 
The third challenge is the, uh, the number of companies involved. We had more than 10 companies involved in this uh, in these trials so it was a uh, also a challenge to coordinate all the people uh, on board each mothership uh, will be fitted with two lures one on the port side one on the starboard side yeah. why did you select this type of configuration well it's a very good question well uh, this type of uh, configuration let's say to put the, the last on the center of the ship it gives us uh, a lot of advantages from uh, our competitors. The center of the ship, where we put the last, is also uh, named the flotation center of the ship. This is the place where you have uh, less acceleration, less movement, so it's very uh, easy to uh, handle the USV. It's very easy to operate, to do the maintenance of, on the, the USV, and also uh, to launch and recover it from this point. Using this point, it's a, a single one and only point on the ship. Uh, so uh, our logistic flows are very easy. It, it needs less load of the crew to reroll, to operate, to uh, launch the USV. And uh, for, uh, comparing this, this solution to other solution, we, we don't need to move the USV from uh, the launching point or to uh, a hangar or to a maintenance place. All operations are done on the same place, very safely, and for the navies, it, it, they can operate very quickly. They can put the USV at sea very, very quickly. So it's a very big advantage for uh, our customer. Gentlemen, you just completed those uh, important sea trials, but it's only one of many milestones to come. What is next? Well, uh, our next milestone is, uh, is now, is uh, today, uh, as we have very uh, good results from the sea trials in January. Uh, we decided to launch the serial production of the launch and recovery system in uh, February. And next milestone for us uh, will be uh, in June with the uh, key laying of the second uh, MCM uh, platform. Uh, and uh, another important milestone uh, in June, it's the um, uh, inauguration of uh, ECA Group uh, facility in uh, Ostend. Uh, in July, uh, also other important milestone for ECA Naval Group, uh, we will deliver our first version of the Mine Warfare system. It's uh, our uh, uh, system built uh, with uh, ECA Umisoft software and uh, SMMD software from Naval Group. And uh, 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 we uh, develop a, a, a global system for the Mine Warfare system with our solutions. And the last milestone for us for this year, very uh, important also, is the uh, critical design review of uh, the uh, MCM vessels uh, in uh, next September uh, 2022. Naval Group and ECA Group are currently working on model ships that will deploy unmanned systems, that will deploy even more unmanned systems underwater for mine warfare. Would you say that your two companies are pioneers in this field? Uh, well, um, before talking about our company, uh, I would like to say that uh, our customer, the Belgian and the Royal Netherlands navies, are uh, pioneers in a mine hunting uh, operational uh, concept. So uh, BNR, Naval Group and uh, ECA Group uh, share the same DNA uh, with our customer and uh, we are very proud to, to build innovative solution and a really new uh, system uh, to uh, uh, give the best product to our customer. Uh, BNR with the Belgian and the Royal Netherlands navies uh, are the, the pioneers in building a complete solution uh, with a highly multi-drone warship and uh, this solution uh, can, can be very useful for the future of uh, naval operation, uh, for instance in mine, mine hunting, but uh, also in other, in other fields. Very well, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Xavier. Thank you very much, Xavier.